I must say that communications with Chernobyl uh, have been a bit shaky. There have been interruptions and restorations depending on different times uh, of the day. An agreed framework um, is required, is needed. Something specific is needed if we are to reinforce the safety of the installations in the, in, in the country. So I will not get lost into um, you know, uh, seeking a fixed format um, uh, which would be the only uh, alternative and the way forward. So we are still discussing this. Um, and and uh, you know, I'm aiming at having something relatively soon, relatively soon. What we have is actually a degrading situation, which is uh, a concerning uh, situation for us, because gradually we are um, losing, it doesn't mean that we are losing everything, but we are losing a significant amount of information. Green is green, and red is no information. And you can see that this is, in safeguards terms, it's not a good situation, because we are losing uh, information. Safeguards is predicated on the basis of a constant uh, monitoring capacity that we can have. Well, I don't have a, a, any in investigative capacity to understand what, 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 what is the real reason uh, behind a particular interruption at a particular place on a particular time of the day. It's impossible for me. Oh, the only thing we are doing is, of course, we are dealing with this. Whenever this happens, we try to establish or re-establish contact as soon as possible. In some cases, we were able to redress situations. In some other cases, uh, this has proven to be, so far, not, uh, not possible. Uh, Ukraine and the Russian Federation want to work with us, with us. They agree to work with us, and they are prepared to work with us. Perhaps the gravity of my tone has to do with the gravity of the situation, uh, because it's a very dire situation, and uh, we need to move fast. And I'm, um, I, I am aware of the responsibility we have and the expectations that there are.